Let's get the views of a leading U.S. portfolio manager. Nathan Tuft is Chief Investment Officer and Senior Portfolio Manager of the Multi-Asset Solutions Team at Manulife Investment Management. He joins us now. It's great to have you here. It's great to be back. We often talk to you from uh, remotely from Vermont, but it is uh, delightful to have you here right in Toronto. You're in town for a conference, I understand. So Goldman Sachs uh, is out this morning with a call that is much more cautious on U.S. stock markets uh, than it has been in the past. Goldman Sachs calling for... Uh, uh, annual gains of only 3% over the next decade in the S&P 500 as investors turn to other assets, including bonds, for uh, better returns. Now, I think a lot of people would say uh, making a call on the S&P 500 over the next decade is pretty tricky stuff, but I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on uh, on U.S. stocks at this juncture. I think their direction is correct. I, I think there's a lot more nuance to the story, though. The reality is the last 10 years for U.S. stocks has delivered something close to a 14% annualized return. Right. That's a big yeah. number relative yeah. to history. So yeah. it's easy to say it's unlikely to repeat that. But the question is, I do think the 3% is probably an underestimate given the earnings potential and the quality of earnings that U.S. companies can deliver. Now, our number is somewhere more in the mid-single digits, mm -hmm. so it's still a lot lower than mm -hmm. what we've seen over the last 10 years, mm -hmm. but it's not to rule out that there's still opportunities in the United States. A lot of the valuation expensiveness that we see in U.S. stocks is really driven by a small subset of the index. The rest of the index isn't nearly as expensive as the big large-cap tech stocks that have driven the markets over the last several years. You say in some notes that you've provided with us that we've reigned in a long-standing equity overweight. What does that mean specifically? Yeah, we went with a lot of balanced portfolios. So if you have a typical 60-40 type of balanced portfolio, earlier this year we would have been overweight 5 to 10 percent. Now we're overweight a couple percentage points. Okay. And a lot of this has to do with the fact we've seen a big run in the U.S. stocks. We've seen a big run in stocks globally, for that matter. At the same time, there's a lot of geopolitical and political risk in the near-term horizon. So we've just dialed back that exposure. We still think we'll likely see new highs in the S&P 500 and global equity but the magnitude of those new highs will be nothing like we've experienced in the first half mm -hmm. of this year. And we're going to talk about uh, Japanese stocks later in this pro program, but you continue to be overweight the U.S. market, so you're not, you're not bailing out of U.S. stocks by any stretch. We're not. Uh, we don't think you should be underweight the U.S. market. Obviously, take some chips and recycle them into other areas of the world, but there are other areas of the world that are looking more attractive than they have been over the last several years. Uh, and you are uh, dialing back exposure to energy and materials and rotating into healthcare and financials. What, what what is the thinking behind that call? There's a little bit of nuance to that. Obviously, oil prices came off a lot in the last week, so we've already taken some chips off the table there. At this level, I wouldn't take more chips off the table. There's actually probably a short-term opportunity in some of those areas. But we just think some of the opportunities in the financial sector and the healthcare sector are better than what we're seeing in the energy and material sector. Why so? Generally speaking, if you look at the financial sector, one, valuations are pretty attractive. Two, they will actually benefit from a cutting cycle. That mm -hmm. might seem contrary to some people's thinking, but that generally will stimulate a healthier economy, more demand for loans, and, and obviously the, the quality of those loans and the potential for risk mm -hmm. is a bit lower in an economy where interest rates aren't mm -hmm. so high. So we like financials. We've already seen a decent return this year, and we think that will likely continue. The healthcare sector, on the other hand, is just grossly underloved, and the earnings expectation over the next couple years looks a lot better than what it has looked over the last couple years. Mm -hmm. And we've been wrong so far on this view. We've been saying this for about six to 12 months, but I do think it is setting up for a bigger opportunity looking forward over the next couple years. In financials, uh, do you have preferences between, for instance, uh, big Wall Street money center banks and the regionals, uh, insurance companies versus banks, et cetera? More focused on the banks, both the regionals and the larger banks, um, partly because we'll continue to see consolidation in that industry, which it has been happening for decades, but we think that trend will continue. But just holistically, Realistically speaking, across the entire banking sector, there's a fair bit of attractiveness when it comes to valuations. And uh, what about fixed income? You know, fixed income is a bit tricky because if you look out over the next 10 years, we would say, hey, fixed income has a reasonable return potential given where yields are today and the potential for yields to come down, particularly as a rate cutting cycle has become uh, precedent across the globe. At the same time, we are a little bit concerned about longer duration fixed income and just how effective it will be going forward relative to its history of pr providing a ballast or a kind of an insurance policy in portfolios. There is some risk given the amount of debt in the world and the potential for inflation having a bit more volatility going forward. It won't serve as quite as effective as, of a tool that it has over the last 30 years or so. Why don't we finish uh, with gold? You, you, do, uh, you do have gold in your model. 
portfolios. We do like gold. We have liked gold. It's worked very well for us. Um, it's becoming a bit consensus, but I do still yeah. think 3,000 is in sight for the next 12 months. That is Nick.